I was reading this shit. I don't know. Just going through Twitter, I think. Twitter or some shit. But came by, came about some inter- something very interesting. The, the topic, I mean, the, the headline was State Sends Kids to Foster Care and Their Parents the, Their Bill Often One Too Big Pay. So I was like, what the fuck? You got to pay for your kid when they got to go to foster care? Like, nigga, I'm already obviously losing my kid to some shit that, you know, it's, like, it's not like because I got money. You know what I'm saying? I'm losing my kid because I'm you know, already on the on the other end of having money. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm down bad right now. But anyways, this one lady, uh, what's her name? Ha- uh, Daisy. So Daisy had her kids, you know, about a couple of weeks taken away from them. Uh, she lived in a little trailer. She had drugs and shit, paraphernalia, police raiders and shit, found it. Uh, she had three kids, two daughters and, uh, and a son. And they put them in the foster care, you know, for a couple of months. And that month turned to a year. And then you know, that year turned to 20 months. And, you know, they've been in, in and out, or in, an, in the child care, not out, but in the child care the whole time. And this whole time, she racked up $19,530.70. She owed to the child, the the county, the right county, the places they live. Right. And I was just like, what? Well, hold on. How the fuck you owe money for niggas taking your kid? Not granted. And that's the part I don't get. Like, so she is I, paying money to the county. She's paying money to, to the article. county. So $19,000 in 20 months. So that county is funding the foster care system, whatever system that her, yes. her kids are in. Yes. Now, as a tax paying member of that county, depending on what state you in, I know some state got some states got a local tax. Don't our taxes pay for that system? I don't know. I'm asking a question. I don't know. Right. And if you would we do so. pay you for would that, think so. you would think. Where does that extra money like like that extra 19 racks? All right. So right. according to this thing, the federal government provides funds. Um, to the states so they can uh, administer child welfare programs. And where does the federal government get their money from, babe? Uh, China? Yeah. I don't know. This nigga, Alec, he said China. <laughs> he said China. <laughs> Fact, somewhere else, because we ain't got it. I mean, what's the what was the debt in the trillions, right? In the trillions. So 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 America is borrowing money from China to to house our foster kids. That's my I shit. don't know how I get that. Damn, <laughs> how we get to that? That's some wild. How did we come to that conclusion? But damn. You're right, because we definitely crazy, ain't got no bro. money. We definitely ain't got none. I mean it says that the non profit state licensed organizations that receive the funding, da 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 going back, where does da, 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 the federal government provides funds to the states to administer child welfare programs? Now listen, this listen here, why are you reading that? Okay, wait. Go ahead. This NPR investigation, the NPR is the people that investigate all the child services shit. The child fees are charged most, almost nah. exclusively to the poorest families. When parents get billed, children spend added time in foster care, and the extra debt follows families for years, making it hard for them to climb out of poverty. And the government raises little money or even loses money when it tries to collect. That's crazy. Crazy. Really? Child care education is putting our people in debt. That's that's, that's wild. So basically, like people that lose their children, they don't really lose them. They still got them. They're just in debt. Can't even afford them. That's that's crazy. So you're basically paying to store your kids somewhere. Yep. Because they got to take it from you. They said, said, you're not fit to take care of your children. We're going to take care of them for you, but you're going to owe us, motherfucker. You're going to owe us. You're going to pay us. That's crazy. I mean, damn, fool. You know what? I, that actually kind of makes sense because I don't really, I don't really like agree with just trying to punish a motherfucker. No, nah, I ain't necessarily trying to punish, but I feel like no, I'm saying that's what they doing. Oh yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I feel like niggas don't be thinking fool. A lot of folks just be having babies and don't even know what the fuck they doing. And then somebody, and then somebody else, somebody else got to suffer for it. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say I said like this right here. You know what they should do? 
I mean, if they're going, so here's the thing. I feel like, and maybe this is what it is. I think those people, about 50% of federal, I feel like most people that are in that situation are people that are trying to get their kids back. Right. Oh, yeah. So, oh, okay, okay. so, so if you are saying. trying to get your kids back, then you have mean, to pay. Some, I do get that. That makes sense. Okay. If you're if you're in a process of trying to get your kids back, and basically that you 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 will have to pay somebody to house the kids until you get your you know on your feet. True, now, true, true. if this now if it's a situation where you're not trying to get your kids back, I feel like that's when like you know you look at adoption agencies and things of that nature. You know, and like those that's kids and ones that get like quote unquote lost in the system. I think that right there, her situation may be Miss Daisy. I'm not sure. I, I need to read the whole article, but I'm pretty sure Miss Daisy was trying to get her kid back. I would assume I really, that she was so trying I to get her kid Daisy back. Was, well. Mental health issues, but you know what I'm saying? She was saying, like, how the fuck y'all expect me to pay that back when I only make 10 bands a year? Right. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, a whole bunch of other shit, like, we read this, like, no drugs was found on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, when the police tried to grab her and shit. It's just a whole bunch of crazy shit. It was like, they just trying to keep, like you said, they keep poor down. Right. And then they talk about how it's just a, it's a cycle. It just keep on happening over and over and over and over again. The same people, the same shit. And mm-hmm. it's obviously a pattern of prejudice and most and sometimes racism. Shit, you know. Don't let us say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're baiting here, there. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, here you bitch ass. 